Okay, I'm looking at a, a article and it's the NAACP has filed lawsuits Friday against the two of the nation's largest mortgage lenders, HSBC and Wells Fargo. And the reason why they're filing this filing this lawsuit is because they feel that African Americans were discriminated against because they received worse loans than Caucasians who were in the same situation as them. Now, my only <laughs> my only drawback to this is is that no one and I repeat no one makes you go take out a loan. I don't have a home now and the reason why I don't have a home now is because I chose to save up for a large down payment so I won't be house poor. That's a choice that I made. But somehow in America we feel that the American dream is to own a home. Now don't get me wrong. A home is a great investment but done in the right way. You shouldn't own a home just because your friends may own a home. You shouldn't own a home because you feel this is the right thing to do. No. There's certain things that have to be taken into consideration before you become a homeowner. For instance, some of those things are, I think you should be debt free. I think you should have an emergency fund in place just in case something happens. I think you should do more than just 20% down. I think if you could pay 50% down it will be fine. So you can go into a home with a low mortgage payment and take the advantage of a low mortgage payment, have some savings on the side, and then if you have anything extra you can put this down on the, on the payment. So. I cannot believe this hogwash of people saying that, hey, oh, poor me, the subprime mortgage and all these other things. The banks are so, so wrong and so evil. No. You were the one that put the key in the ignition and drove to the bank and decided to get a loan because maybe your friends may have had a house. Maybe because you felt it was the right thing to do. No one made you get a loan. Before, I understand that, you know, I've been to the car dealerships and things like this and became emotional about a car. But you know what? If I feel that I can't afford it, I'm not going to get the car. So what I'm trying to say is stop blaming the government. Stop blaming the banks. Stop looking for a handout. Take responsibility for your own life your own life and leave the banks alone when you're ready to buy a home you know it save money right now America here's my message save money right now there's no rush there's no rush to buy a home you're gonna get your home but get it responsibly 